Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at how to compare decimals. The aim of this video is to help with the common errors students make when comparing decimals. Before we look at our questions, we want to say thank you to all the members who are sponsoring this channel. We really appreciate your contribution in helping us make these videos and helping more students. If you're not a member yet, please consider supporting this channel by clicking the join button or link in pinned comment. Thank you. Okay, let's look at our questions. Question 35. The number 0 0.6 is less than, greater than, or equal to the number 0 0.600. Here, we are comparing these two numbers. I see so many students get a question like this wrong. When you have a decimal, you can add as many zeros as you want to the back and it won't change the value. So 0 0.25 and 0 0.2500 are the same. It's the same thing like the way you can add as many zeros as you want to the front of a number and nothing changes. So that if your number 01 or number 001 or number 0001, your number 1. So for this question, we can say 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.600 since we basically just added zeros to the back. Question 36. Arrange the following decimals in descending order. 3.25, 3.5, 3 3.05, and 4.1. Here, we are supposed to arrange from biggest to smallest. We see that the first three numbers are 3 point something, but the last number is 4.1. Since 4 is bigger than 3, the 4.1 will be the largest. Most students get this part right. Since the next numbers are the same whole number, 3, we compare the decimals. Some students make the mistake of thinking 0.25 is greater than 0.5. They look at it as 25 and 5. That's wrong. Some students also think 0.5 and 0.05 are the same. They look at it as 5 and 05. If you want to compare decimals by looking at it that way, then you have to make sure that there are the same number of figures after the decimal point. 3.25 has two digits after the decimal point. 3.5 has only one digit. We can make it two digits by adding zero, as we learned in the previous question. So we have 3.50. Then we have 3.05, which has two digits. With this we can see that 3.50 is the next in descending order then 3.25, then finally 3.05. A better way to compare is to realize that decimals are compared from the decimal point going to the right one digit at a time. So here, we'll compare the 2 to the 5 and the 0. Since 5 is the largest, 3.5 will be the bigger number. Then 2 is larger than 0, so 3.25 is next, then finally 3.05. For those of you who already understood this, I know we have overly explained it. Sorry about that. We went through that pain because, after we teach people what to do with decimals, they actually leave comment about how we are wrong because there's no way 0.5 is bigger than 0.25 or similar comments like that. We will end this video here. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and help keep the channel alive by supporting the channel. We really appreciate all our members. You can also get more at ultimatealgebra.com or ultimategd.com or watch our other videos here on YouTube.